A final vote to dissolve Israel's parliament has been postponed to later today. It will be the end of Israel's 24th parliament, which will end Prime Minister Naftali Bennett's year-long tenure. The dissolution of Knesset will trigger Israel's fifth election in less than four years. The final approval of the dissolution bill was initially expected by midnight, but it has now been postponed to Thursday, as coalition and opposition lawmakers sparred over last-minute legislative details ahead of the final vote on the bill. Naftali Bennett has announced that he would not stand in the upcoming elections. However, Bennett will stay as alternate prime minister as steps to revive stall talks in Tehran's nuclear program are on. Bennett will be responsible for Iran policy. Israel opposes a restoration of the 2015 agreement under which Iran was given sanctions relief in exchange for checks on its nuclear program. לחברי יאיר לפיד. אני אמשיך לסייע ולעזור לו במסגרת תפקידי כראש ממשלה חלופי כמה שידרש. הצלחתו היא הצלחת המדינה. העברת התפקיד תהיה מקצועית ומסודרת. טובת המדינה וטובתה בלבד לנגד עיניי. כך היה תמיד וכך יהיה. אני מבקש גם לעדכן אתכם שאין בכוונתי להתמודד בבחירות הקרובות. אבל אני אשאר חייל נאמן של הארץ הזו, אותה שירתתי כל חיי כלוחם, כקצין, כשר וכראש הממשלה שלכם. Last week, Bennett moved to dissolve the parliament after infighting made his ruling coalition no longer attainable. Elections will likely be held either on October 25th or November 1st, once the call for a snap election gets the final approval. Israel's foreign minister, Yar Lapid, will take over from Bennett as the prime minister. Lapid will oversee a caretaker government with limited powers, while he will also keep the foreign minister's portfolio. But even as lawmakers grappling over the exact election date, the campaign has already become dominated by the possible comeback of former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Netanyahu's record reign was ended by Lapid and Bennett a year ago, when they formed a rare alliance. Now, with the collapse of the diverse coalition, opposition leader Netanyahu has been again in the spotlight, despite being on trial for corruption. Netanyahu hopes to win a sixth term in office. Surveys have shown his right-wing Likud party leading the polls, but still short of a governing majority. The anti-Netanyahu camp will likely be held, will be led by Lapid, who has sought to cast Netanyahu's potential return to office as a national threat.